Hey guys, what's going on? It's TMJ in the USA, episode 13. So here we are driving from Virginia. Driving out of Virginia, man. We on our way to New York City. We spent the morning with the Hodge twins, shot a bunch of videos, and you will be seeing those videos coming soon to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel, man. We've got about five videos we're going to release. So this was... We didn't actually stop anywhere in Washington because they had the shutdown. Yeah, the, go uh, the, the government shut the down. The government so was shut down. TMJ comes to Washington, government leaves. <laughs> so we didn't get to see the White House or the War Memorial or anything like that. Or um, the Pentagon. Yeah. We had nothing to do in Washington, so we thought, f*** it, let's drive to New York. So here we are, stopped at the uh, rest stop, got some water, got some MPS Way, a fresh tub Is of that MPS Way. Are you... Oh, did you just bust open a fresh tub of MTS Way? Yep, in? just fingered the tub of MTS Way. <laughs> Do you, come on, mate. So there we are. Do you want to tell the viewers at home um, where they can get MTS Way? Uh, not at the moment, but in about six weeks' time, you can get it from massivejoes.com in a variety of flavours, being chocolate and vanilla. Or if you mix it together, <laughs> chinilla. Or... No, it's called chinilla. Van, van Choc. Shut up, Joe. I'm it's chinilla. Van Choc. Van <laughs> All right. Anyway, you can mix the flavors if you want. It's on its way to massivejoes.com, and you can also purchase these shakers at Massive Joe's. Let's just use this episode for shameless plugs, shall not, we? They're nine ninety five from massivejoes.com. <laughs> so so we stopped. We stopped on on route. We stopped a bunch. Of, it, was a, it was a reasonable drive, wasn't it? So from tell them Washington, the states. We, tell them the states we went through, Joe. From Washington to New York, it was a reasonable drive. It took us about four hours to get from Washington to New York. And we went through a bunch of stuff. I would actually say, and you will see as this, as this episode continues, that this was an epic drive of peace. We went through five states. We started in Virginia. We went from Virginia through Washington, DC. Then through Maryland or Maryland, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I think it. everyone pronounces it Maryland. Then we went through, and you see, there you go, Baltimore, which is in Maryland, en route to New York. Then we went through Delaware, we went through New Jersey, which is where we stopped for this meal, bit of chicken breast. I got chicken and tomato, which is my um, cutting meal of, and of choice. Had, and I had uh, chicken and green beans. This is where we stopped in New Jersey. And then through New Jersey, we ended up in New York, man. The current state I was in was happy, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to apologise to the viewers at home who are watching this episode waiting for some valuable, hilarious content and just had to listen to that shit that just dribbled out of your mouth just then. So here we are, driving into New York City. Now this, what I was going to say to the viewers at home before you really see this, see this lane here, that disgusting just, gag. See this left lane here that's yes, all mate. marked off? Yes. Joe just decides to pull into it and just take pictures of things. That's how we roll. And I was going to say to the viewers at home, this was, if you ever get, if you ever go to, to the USA and you're driving around or you've got an opportunity to drive around, go and drive into New York from south heading north because this was, this, I would go so far as to say, of all the stuff we've done on this trip, this was my highlight of this trip. That's a sad driving, highlight, Joe. Driving, That's a sad highlight. Check this out, man. And you can't really see it that well because the camera didn't pick it up, but driving into New York from south to north at night, seeing all of that was just epic. It's good seeing all the. It makes you realise how small Adelaide, in particular, Australia, city of Adelaide. in particular, is. No, no, yeah, or well, anywhere looks small compared to New York. Yeah. And this was the next day. So we drove into New York. We did some cardio. We had a meal. Went to bed. Got up the next morning and went to go train at Powerhouse Gym in Syosset, New York, which is outside of New York City. It's about an hour drive outside of New York City. Well, the GPS told us 45 minutes and it took us an hour and a half. The GPS has had no idea what time it was. It had no idea where we were going. It had no, I, no concept of time. That GPS was fucked. But it was, a, it was at 5 p.m. It's true. We got caught in New York. We got, yeah, we got caught in traffic. traffic. We really didn't. didn't you, no, you, well you didn't all. do it very so well. So anyway, Syosset Gym, uh, uh, Powerhouse Gym, Bev Francis, who is also an Australian, Believe it or not, an Australian women's <coughs> figure competitor, women's bodybuilder. I think she was a figure competitor. Anyway, owns this powerhouse gym in Sussex, New York. It is actually Kai Green's home gym. It is. It was, a, it was a pre pretty much one of the best. No, we trained in a few gyms and that was... That has been New York City for you. Definitely in the top four. What bridge was this we were crossing here, Neve? It was a sturdy bridge, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was... We're going, um, we're going from... It Man wasn't Brooklyn Bridge. I think this was no, Manhattan not Brooklyn Bridge. Bridge. Who knows? But I we're going... they called it Manhattan Bridge. We're I'm driving from Manhattan sure. over to the other side of the river. But it was a pretty cool bridge, man. That's why I told you to film it. I said, film this. We've got to get this in the episode of TMJ in the USA for viewers at home to see this shit, man. Yeah. So anyway, this drive, the, the GPS told us it should take 45 minutes. It took us about an hour and a half. Probably a bit longer. Probably took us more like close to two hours. Yeah. 
Lucky we didn't slip on our pre-workouts till we got there. And then we busted on in here, side set. And this is how you get into, not that we knew, because this was the back entrance. Yeah, we were in the wrong the, entrance. This is the back entrance to Bev Francis's powerhouse gym. Yeah, there's a lot of kickboxing gyms in there as well, like kickboxing gyms. Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff going Boxing there, gyms and stuff of that nature, I assume. And so this was the back entrance to, to powerhouse gym, also known as Kai, Green, Kai Green's gym of choice. This is where he trains, man. So this is the back entrance. Busted on in there, and uh, and we what did we train? We trained legs, legs here, didn't we? Did you put the yeah the legs has gone up and on and in the gym with Team Yeah, that'll be a separate video, man, because that was a they, they actually did they let us film? They kind of did. They, they, kind they of didn't did. know we filmed, so you, yes, they but did they didn't us. stop us from filming. We have had a few gyms in here where we've busted on in. They stopped us from filming. Anyway, this is Powerhouse Gym. So we did a little bit of a video tour here, man. Really, really good gym. If you live in New York or if you visit New York. Take the hour to two hours, depending on whether you go and pick hour or not, that it takes to drive out to Syosset, New York, and go and train at this gym, man. That is uh, awesome. The thing, that the difference between the American gyms and the Australian gyms is the amount, of, the amount and the variety of equipment they've got. Yeah, I mean, for sure. The, there's that many legs. Like, you know, in Australia, we get your leg press, maybe a hack squat if you're lucky, and your leg extension and your hamstring curl. You have your standard pieces. So you've got your standard equipment. four or five pieces of equipment. Here, there was that many different leg exercises yeah i didn't know what to do with myself and they had you see in the episode of in the gym of our leg workout here there was like eight different leg extension machines <coughs> not one <coughs> not two not six but eight and there was like six different leg presses and four different hack squats and and 25 squat racks there was maybe two, not there was, that many there was maybe two. there was three but anyway three. there was more than there needed to be and that's generally what we've been finding with these awesome gyms in the US and let me get don't get it twisted not every gym we've trained in in the US has been awesome there's no. a particular gym franchise I'm not going to mention because they were complete motherfuckers when it came to us filming but their gyms were not good but these nice people at Powerhouse Gym in Syosset, New York they were awesome and their gym is yeah. awesome you've got to go check it out as I said, this was in the top four gyms we trained at, in my opinion. How many gyms did we train at in total? Maybe six. <laughs> 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 no, but the top four were Gold's Gym, Venice. Gold's Venice, yeah. Chica um, uh, Fitness Factory in Charlotte. Oh, Fitness Factory <laughs> in Charlotte is on a different level, man. Powerhouse Gym, so I said. And yes. Steel Gym, New York City. Still, yeah, Steel Gym, and you... you Steel see, Gym came in fourth, so this gym was in the top three, I'll say. I would say this is top three. Yeah. Fitness Factory Charlotte was number one. Definitely. Gold's Venice, number two. And this is number three. This is number three. This is in our top three gyms. This is, uh, Science Seal Delivered approved TMJ in the USA top three gyms in the USA. <laughs> if, if you happen to make it over there. So anyway, this was a weird machine. We thought we'd throw this in this episode um, just to show you how weird it was. was I don't it, even know what the hell this it machine was. It was like an was. isolateral... Leg press? That was the gym. That, yeah, it was. It operated isolaterally, so left to right, and that was the machine. I figured out that one of my legs is longer than the other. Yeah. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? Anyway, we drove back into New York and decided to bus on into Times Square. So this is Times Square at about. This was at 11 p.m. Post workout meal of peace right here. And Neve, what did you have there, Neve? I had just steak. Steak and salts. No sides. No carbs. No broccoli. Just steak and salts. Whereas me, I had steak and broccoli, man. With no sauce. That was my post-workout meal of peace because I'm on that epic cut of peace, man. Oh, oh look at the shit! <laughs> look at the black eye on him. What happened at Powerhouse Gym? That's where I knocked Neve? Joe out. That's where I knocked Joe out. Man, it looked like I got smacked in the no, face. No, that's, that's me carrying all my shoes. Yeah, this was bad. You had to go to the Hard Rock Cafe downstairs to go um, to the toilet and made me climb up and down the stairs carrying your shit. I drank, After a leg workout. I drank that much water. I was not happy about that, I drank man, that much water. Because my legs were coming in. All kinds of stall right there. They were. Anyway, so, this is, on in. so here we are back out in Times Square. And this was pretty cool. So we had um, a, a bunch of people say to us, when you guys go to New York and film an episode of TMJ in the USA New York, you've got to take some footage of Times Square. So this is Times Square at night for the viewers at home who haven't had the opportunity to go to New York and see it themselves. This man. is about 11.45 at night. Yeah, Times so, Square just buzzes all night long. There's people everywhere, cars everywhere. It actually buzzes more at night than it does during the day because at night you've got all the lights and shit that come on and, and really kind of light the whole place up and everyone's in a good mood and selling stuff on the side of the street and dancing and partying and yeah, it's good I didn't fun. see any dancing. Oh, there was a fair bit of dancing, Neve. Except for that naked cowgirl. And the naked cow guy. Yeah, I wasn't looking at him. I wasn't looking I at him. I think they actually <laughs> call them the naked cowboy. Yeah, they do. Anyway. That's what our tour, tour guide. We went on a tour guide on a bus. 
Oh, yeah, he was a clown. That was the, I wanted him to get hit with a street sign. Spent, what did it cost us, 50 bucks each? $42. For the tour bus? 42 bucks each for the tour bus. We lasted 15 minutes because <laughs> we couldn't stand the tour guide. He was a complete potato. We hopped off and then tried to hop on another bus and then got sidetracked and never got back on the bus. Yeah. And this was pretty cool. This was just, there's all kinds of weird shit that happens in Times Square. This was one of them. This wasn't Times Square though. This was Fifth it Avenue. It was just outside of Times Square. Sixth Avenue? Fifth uh, Avenue. Just outside of Times Seventh Square. Seventh Avenue maybe. They just decided to bust open a, a, a Olympic sized swimming pool in the middle of Times Square. It was just it? outside of Times Yeah, just Square. outside. So um, it was, they were raising money for something. We didn't quite get the just. They were it. swimming for a cause. They didn't do a very good job of actually promoting what they were trying to promote. But it was just kind of cool just to see this pool and people were swimming. So been swimming. 15 hours in this pool. What's NYAD? New York. New York something. Swim for relief. I don't know. Check out that website if you want to donate, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> or hashtag swim for life. <laughs> we still don't know what it was for, but it was pretty cool to see, man. I'm sure it's it made a good... TMJ in the USA episode. I'm sure it was a good cause. And then this was our late night cardio. This was, uh, what time was this, Nate? Oh, this was like one o'clock. You, just... you did not want to be filmed right I just here. wanted to go. My legs were sore because we'd been walking for like yeah, hours. We just trained legs? We trained perhaps? legs. And then we'd just been walking for three hours. Because we'd walked from, we'd walked from our hotel room, 45 minutes up to Times Square, walked around Times Square for an hour, and then walked back 45 minutes. So we'd been doing two and a half hours of walking. We're cardio. nearly back at the hotel late by now. Late night cardio. Nearly back at the hotel. Late I just, night cardio. I just wanted to go to sleep, and you were wanting to videotape me and talk to me. Stop complaining, Eve. Where are we coming to and from? Massivejoes.com. Stay, man.